Brazil is the one country in the world which has the largest area covered by forests. So it is very, very important for Brazil and for Brazilians to learn and understand about the forests, the cloud forest, the rainforest, the temperate forest. The, the cloud forest is essential for the water supply in the region because it harvests water from the air. So if the management of the cloud forest is not done correctly, then you might have a water shortage at some point. Cloud forests are unique ecosystems. They also have a major importance in terms of biodiversity uh, because there is a lot of endemic species that occur in cloud forests. Climate models, they predict that these regions, they will become much drier in the, in the future, mostly because clouds will become more and more rare. We still don't have a, a good understanding of uh, how these changes will actually impact cloud forest functions. Understanding the Amazon is a very large part of a much bigger problem, which we could say is understanding the Earth, or Earth system science. And what we want to be able to do is we want to understand the Earth well enough in all these component systems so that we can understand what the implications of climate change are. And then we can communicate that and we can make that sort of um, a human challenge to, to ask the question, okay, we see where we're going, what are we going to do? For many, many scientific projects, it's, it's probably still done in the old-fashioned way that they have graduate students go to the field once a week uh, to either download the data or just, for many cases, copy them down and, and type it into Excel afterwards for the analysis. I think the benefit of network sensor is to be able to stream that data uh, seamlessly from sensors through the network into the system, have the system manage that data and visualize it in real time so the scientists can, can observe what's happening. They can directly perform feedback into the actual deployment to either change it or sample at different rate to observe different things. That will give this real-time feedback and opportunity of, of getting high fidelity data for the period of interest. Fog is an important component of what happens in this environmental system. But you don't actually measure fog directly. What you measure is the temperature dropping and the sun is no longer shining and the humidity has gone way up and it's not raining so your rain sensors are saying, nope, there's no rain. And so you say the combination of these things means that there is fog. This is a small scale study in terms of space, but it's very data intensive in terms of many different kinds of sensors. The, the red one is a central heater and these two are thermocouples. Mm -hmm. And the thermocouples, they have sensors in two different parts of the, in the radio profile of the wood. And I think these potentially will help us to resolve for the whole tree, uh, like carbon uptake on a daily basis. We are using the Azure Cloud as a sort of a way of doing our data management without actually having to operate, own and operate physical computers. So we're putting cyber infrastructure or uh, data management tools in the Microsoft Cloud and that's a good way for us to help the scientists manage their data sets because their data sets are very complex. And when they can manage their data sets, then they can get to asking scientific questions more effectively. Cloud Forest is, I'd say, one instance of a very broad class of, of applications. For example, from, say, healthcare, you attach sensors to people, the elderly, to be monitored get data to a centralized location that uh, physicians can take a look and analyze it and provide feedback. So there are so many of these applications that pretty much share the same kind of architecture and can benefit from the research result we get from this collaboration. We will learn things like which kinds of data we did not measure with all those sensors. That is something that will impact knowledge about the environment, knowledge about forests, and forests, they are important for us and for the world.